Okay, in the final game for Belveth Unranked to Diamond, potentially. We're one and one on this series. And it all comes down to this. And what I, I th do I have the good luck of the draw with this team comp? I don't think so. But anyways, we'll play it out the best we can. Um, so what I'm going to do is start my red and then kind of adjust wherever I want to go. Because if I start my red, it gives me a lot of good options. I can go top, I can go mid, I can invade blue, or I can cross through. Or I can full clear. It gives me like all good options. And it doesn't look like the grave's going to invade either. Uh, so yeah, last game to D4, visual rank, and then we're playing in like Masters 300 here, as you do. Just another day in the office, honey. Just playing my Belveth games in Masters 300. The highest this account was at? No! Okay, you can have my red. He's fine. He's fine. I just do Raptors. Just don't come to my Raptors. And if he wants to do this tic-tac-toe, that's okay. Ooh. Well, he has red buff. I can't win. Okay. Do you want to cross through mid-graves? That's what I want to know. We're going to do wolves. Okay. Cross through mid. And then we don't have any info here. So then what we're going to do is go to his blue side. Because if he attacks me on my blue with red buff, I'm losing. So we don't want to do that. We got the wolves, so now if we do... Gromp? I want to say I'm level 3. I don't even know if Gromp gives me level 3, I'll be honest. They had a warding totem, so they might have spotted me here. Graves going through mid now. So since Graves goes there, I'll just recall. No problem. I've defended my blue side, how about that? And then Futures Market kind of going ballistic here, no? We get the longsword. And then with this, I can gank bot... Yeah, I can gank bot side. I have I have rail, and then maybe I can do something mid. We know the mid laner sucks though, so we'll see. And then Graves is doomed to be topside, and it's too hard to gank Heimerdinger, you would hope. So I think we're good. Now, we want to get level 3, and then look for a gank. Yeah, the blue buff does not give us level 3. Awesome. And then bot side, uh, River is warded. So, we want to go through their red side whenever we're looking for a gank. Nice! Yeah, show them who's boss, big man. Oh. Nice! I thought it was over for him whenever he got hit by the repose, but... Heimerdinger top, the man. Alrighty, so Graves' Raptors are going to be up for sure. And then he only has a couple places to reset. That could be his bot site, so it's like he wants these camps, but they won't be here. Because of his mistake top. And then my bot lane's reset, so I don't have to defend them. So we'll go into our red side and then clear these camps. And then the wave is probably bouncing back top. And we might be able to get a gank off there. Okie dokie. Graves with 8 CS on that top gank. Amazing. We have 24. Graves crossing through. That <laughs> sees that he has no camps. Awesome. He has a long sword. So this scuttle crap is up, actually. I, I didn't even notice that. What the hell? 8 CS into the top gank. Amazing stuff. That's why they pay Graves the big bucks, huh? I walk at any champion on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. No problem. I'm sure Heimerdinger's in a happy spot. Jesus Christ! Alright, let's do these golems and then just go sit top. Hover here for just two seconds. Make sure Graves isn't here. As if he could do anything. Alright, let's reset. To the bot side! Graves' only camp is the golems. He's gonna do golems and then gank bots, so what we're gonna do... ...is just go totally bot lane.
He's already there? Brother has never farmed a camp in his life, that's for sure. Let's go Heimerdinger. Nice. I'm coming, guys. I'm coming. Graves' raptors are up in uh, 20 seconds, so... We're going to move into the river here. That will give us options. We can choose to go bot, or we can choose to go to his raptors here. Since we spent our gold, we have more items than graves here too, but might have a mid lane issue. Okay. Oh. I missed everything. How is this warded? Who put the ward right there, huh? Win. It would have been their mid laner. Man, you can't do nothing fun. Anyways, we're, we'll just clear up. It's no big deal. We're not chunked or anything. I'm not really looking for a play bot. Place like that, like, will feel bad, you'll die, but, like, it's not a big deal. Surprisingly, things can be A-OK. -okay. Like, I was level, like, what, 4? And now look at this. I'm almost level 6. Isn't that something? Ketchup XP is really nuts. Really nuts for letting you just be a total ballistic dummy. Level 6, here, I, come. Alrighty, and now we're looking for Rift Herald. It'd be nice to get a play onto anyone before we do the Rift Herald. That really sets things up. Easier said than done. Here's Mr. Graves, he's level 6 with just a longsword. Okay. They know that we're coming to attack, but he doesn't have lanes. No! Yes! Okay. Phew! Nice. Blitzcrank coming to ruin my day. As if. Run away. They're, they're bot lanes here. What's the deal, huh? <laughs> What's the deal? Oh my god. Attack Fiora. Screw their bot lane. Don't play into them. Ugh. <laughs> W backwards. Okay, he didn't fall for it. Nice. Alrighty, and now we, we go into the fog and then start the Rift Herald. I can't believe their bot lane's there. Graves' option would be to reset, reset to Rift Herald or reset bot side. I think he'll reset bot side. That's my call. There's no guarantee, though. Right, let's do this. Why does it reset nowadays like that? At the edge? I don't get it. Nice. Got the Rift Herald form. Fiora is all but dead. Okay, so we're gonna blast him. And then we're gonna Q down. And we're gonna Q smite. We're gonna recall. Alrighty, we're doing pretty good. So long that bot lane doesn't die on this turn, we're pretty much set. Guys! Guys, what's the deal? <laughs> what is the deal? No way. What is... Bro. Bro. 
League of Legends is an online mobile multiplayer online battle arena that you can play with your friends. Oh, close. That's all mine, baby. Alrighty, nice. We're gonna drop this Rift Herald bot. Get more plates to the gin, and then also help take that bot turret. The faster we take the bot turret, the better. Since their bot lane died too, I can kind of stay for a little bit. Help take the turret. Or at least deal damage to it. I like to use most of these passive stacks and then just kind of leave like if it's taking too long. There's not like too much of a method to it. Looks like we can get it though. And then our next objective is the dragon or the mid turret. So that's what we'll be playing for. I don't want to get screwed by Blitzcrank randomly. So I'm backing off. Graves was topside and I have time to buy here. So I'm going to... Get the Kraken Slayer instead of just starting the dragon and then getting interrupted and stuff. Everyone isn't on the map, you know. We're not doing that dragon just yet. Oh, uh, the world's easiest ninja tabby. You, you don't have to get tier 2 boots this early. But in this case, all their damage is Graves, Samira, and then Fiora. So, we're so set this game. Big man Heimerdinger, 1v2 would and, and I don't gotta do nothing. <laughs> I walk into Graves Jungle died. That's a that's a GG. What can I say? I won. Like historically though, like I don't know, especially when I would start playing, I would be really like hyped or like psyched out for like things like the series because it's like the promotion to D4, right? Q auto auto Q auto auto. That Glacial owns. What the hell? Guess you get away, big man. I would get psyched out for the series, and then the gameplay is something like this, where it's like there's one play, and the game's instantly, like, one. No big deal. Okay, so we're occupying the map offensively, seeing if the enemy is going to make a mistake. I'm not really going to attack the Graves here. As to me. Has a big old blitz cream. Alrighty, let's farm for a second. This guy will be pushing bot. Nah, we're not gonna abandon Heimerdinger. Because the Graves and Blitzcrank have nothing better to do. Okay. Attack the rail, please. Good Blitzcrank bolted. And we're good. Next objective would be this bot turret or the Rift Herald, so we have a ton of time to play with. And then, in the meantime, all you have to do is like look for plays like this. So, you can like occupy their jungle, try to catch someone out, or you sit near the lanes if you think a fight's going to start there. Not much to it. Let's go Black Cleaver second. Pretty basic. Finally clear these topside camps. In this case, where it's like my team's so far ahead, to stay and farm the camps actually doesn't seem too good. I'm just gonna do enough camps to get me level 9. And then get onto the map. We only have so much time on the form too. So better to get some kills. Oh. Alrighty, let's fight. Amazing. Hi, Bloodspring. Oh, guy's my form. Watch this. Q! Amazing. Hammerdinger is the best to ever do it. Fjord, you have to pay. Rift Herald in 37, keep your eyes on the prize, no matter what happens here. Okay. Q, W. Auto, 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 Q, auto. Okay. Bong. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Alrighty, eyes on the prize. GG. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we don't have to play this series again, baby.
Now, was there much ed educational content in that bad boy? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But just like that, the unranked a diamond on Belveth is done. Go ahead. Go ahead, League of Legends client. Boom. This one was a lot faster than the Amumu one. My my review of it, unranked a diamond on Belveth, I've done this shit a billion times. It's nothing new. Mel Belveth is like easily my most played champion. I was mostly just chilling doing this. Um, so, did I learn anything different? Not really. I've been recently playing more to like attack the enemy. Well, yeah, so I've been playing more to attack the enemy. And then like where I invaded that graves, it doesn't work out. It's totally fine because you do a play like that. If it works out, it's like seven times good. If it doesn't work out, it's like minus one, whatever. You know, you're down some tempo. The enemy should have an advantage. Will they push that advantage? No, no, they won't. So it's like there's not a huge downside. Um, and then the catch-up XP, you can abuse it like that by going for the plays. But you can't do that if you farm into the plays. But anyways, here's the final, the final score on this account. I guess the true challenge would be doing uh, like an undefeated run. But that'd be much easier done solo. So final score here for my, uh, my speed run to diamond is 30 and 10. 10 annoying losses, but whatever. And then all played on Belveth, 40 games. 40 games that just flew by. Whenever I did it on a Moomoo, like the 50 felt pretty long, but this one flew by 75% win rate, no problem. So yeah. Alrighty, thank you for watching the entire video and hope you enjoyed, got something out of it. Check out the other videos. I got a ton of Belveth if you want to learn, especially if there's like a new build or something, there's always something. Alrighty, peace.